Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Um, this channel is a whole bunch of different things. So if um, you, you're around a lot, you'll know I, I post a lot of different content. Every month I do post a video like this one. Uh, that's everything I sold on eBay for that month and what it sold for, um, just some little background things in case that interests you. So what you're about to see are clips of everything I sold for the month of August. And then at the end, I'm gonna pop back on and talk to you some more about some actual details about um, total revenue and things like that. So here you go. So what we have here are two incredible cabinet cards. Um, these, um, I actually do know the date on these um, because it's on the back of this brown one and it is hard to read but I I can read it to you so it says Helen and there I'm not really sure maybe carbon Hall Hollingsworth taken Tuesday September 15th 08 as in 1908 and then we have her year age 20 years 11 months and 19 days very thorough and then we have 640 summit ave hagerstown maryland and this cabinet card here which is incredibly unique and i'm, I'm going to tell you a little more about this cabinet card but look at that i mean it's just so so neat now there's a little blur down here in the left hand corner from these puppies moving um, you know, cab cabinet cards, the way they did photography back in that time was very different. Um, I think it's incredible that everything is as clear as it is, um, uh, because, you know, puppies don't hold still and, and you need to do that, um, in order to get a good, a good picture. So I think that's pretty, pretty incredible. But on the back, you can see it's the same name, Helen Hollings worth, I think. So, first of all, I have to say I'm really sad to see these go because this picture right here was the motivation, this cabinet card for me buying, I think it was like three little stacks of cabinet cards at a thrift store. And they were, I mean, I probably didn't pay more than $10, but I had never sold any antique photographs I don't really have a lot of um, knowledge about cabinet cards or antique, you know, photography. There was also some little tins. Um, if you're familiar, they used to do some printing on some tins. Um, but what really caught my attention was this photo. So this was like, I could see this one in the stack or something as I looked through. And I was like, this is just the neatest photo. Um, and a lot of the subjects of these photographs were very unique for the time. So there were a lot of outdoor things. There were a lot of more casual poses. Um, there was even a, um, long time gone, uh, general store, photos of that general store. And it had the, the name of the store on the back. And I sold those for a good bit. Um, there's antique photos of Antietam Battlefield, there was just young, dapper men having a good time. I mean, the photographs were really very unique of the time period. Uh, people fishing. I have another one, which may or may not be the same young lady fishing. I'm not sure. But it, I, I grouped that with just a group of um, fishing photographs. So, I mean, some really, really neat photos. Um, Anyways, I've been, I've been selling them since I've had them. These two, so just sold, and I have had them listed a while. They've had a lot of interest. Um, I sold them for $61.99 together. I, I kept them together because they were definitely the same young lady. And another interesting little side note, if this interests you, I don't know. So this 640 Summit app, Hagerstown, Maryland, I used to, um, Oh, on a side note, maybe that says one month, not 11 months. So she might have been 20 years, one month, 19 days. 
but um, that 640 Summit Ave, Hagerstown, Maryland, Summit Avenue in Hagerstown, Maryland is a road that I am sometimes on. I do not live far from Hagerstown, Maryland. And so shortly after I got these cabinet cards, the next time I was on that road, I was looking for 640 and it is still there. Um, it is a very, the, the buildings in that part of town are, are older and, and really neat. And I just kind of envisioned, uh, what this young lady's life was like and who she was. And I'm always feel so sad about these when I come across antique photos. Um, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but like surely someone out there was related. Surely this is someone's aunt or grandmother or great grandmother, you know, or, or something. And it's just kind of, kind of lost. And I, I think that's sad. You know, we're here just to, just a glimmer of time, right? But anyhow, love these photos. I hope the new owner loves these cabinet cards as much as I do. I'm not always this nostalgic about uh, my sales, but these I just absolutely love. This is a new paperback, Secret Sources of Power, Rediscovering Biblical PowerPoints. Um, and this I sold for $10. This is a pre-owned but uncut pattern. Um, it's Today's Fit by Sandra Ventzina. Vogue pattern. It's a cute little um, like vest thing. Uh, one size. All sizes included. And this is a slightly larger than normal pattern. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to mail it. Uh, with the eBay standard envelope, but um, I sold this for $10.89. So this is the second day in the row I've sold a sewing pattern. This is pre-owned but unused Simplicity 5540. Some toddler sizes, cute little ensembles there. And this pattern uh, is smaller, so I will be able to use the eBay um, standard envelope, special little deal. I'll use this manila envelope and fold it over. And I sold this for $7.50. This is a little collection by Ernest Dempsey. I think that's how you say it. So there's a trilogy here. Yes, the Lost Chambers Trilogy, book three. So there's all three books of that. Uh, not brand new, but in very good condition. And then there is a set of another novel um, by the author. And I did have these listed for some time. Um, I would say at least two years. Um, and they sold $31. This is a brand new Columbia jacket in size 3T. Um, and I picked this up the end of last winter actually it was still quite cold um there was a clearance sale at my dicks it's like an outlet dicks and they had probably 200 of these coats and they were ten dollars a piece so i bought a few um they had two different colorways this is one of them um and this is the first one i've sold this i sold for fifty dollars and 99 cents and then i have a unique um, ah. lip plumper in shade Rene Raquel and this I sold for $24.99 this is a pre-owned paperback it is in pretty good condition there's a little bump here um, a little bend there helpful truths truth in past places and this book I sold for $13.25 and they have three brand new um, voice crochet hooks. They're a size G hook. Uh, these came in like a bundle of things I bought at, I think, the Goodwill. Um, I didn't sell them for much. I sold them for $8, but I'll make a little money off of them. Uh, they were not the reason I bought the bundle, so they're just kind of like a little added, added bonus. So these are five manicular 
Waters. Uh, it's a skin cleanser by Simple. I have a couple different packagings or bottle styles, but they're all the same. Uh, these did come from Wholesale Ninjas. I've had them a while. Um, I sold them for $18.25 and they're going to California, which I'm in Pennsylvania, so that's quite the haul. I'm not going to make much on these, uh, but I'll be happy to make even a couple dollars just to get them, get rid of them. Um, they, yeah, had them, had them a little while, so ready for them to go. And some things with the Wholesale Ninjas, I've made some decent money on and other things I've lost a little money on. I've mentioned before in a video or two that I don't know if I'll be selling um, or buying more from Wholesale Ninjas. They've changed things and it's a little more pricey and you have stuff like this that is hard to kind of make a return on. They each weigh 6.7 ounces. So, you know, it's going to be like a two pound box at least. Okay, well, a little more than that, but anyways, I have a Mood Struck lipstick. This is in shade Extravagant, and I sold this for $21. And another unique item, this is a Dip and Draw eyeliner, and this is in shade Pronounced. Okay. This is a three XL. Johnny Cash t-shirt, the man in black. So I got several of these. It's been a while. I sell them periodically um, at Walmart on clearance for a dollar each. So I sold this for $12. And then we have a vintage needlepoint uh, titled December. And I have sold some other seasons of these or maybe other months, I'm not sure. Um, it's by Sunset Designs. Uh, still in the original packaging. Um, this I sold for $18.89. And I also have, uh, this is like little doll toys to use with 18 inch dolls. Small pet playset. You've got all the little, I guess they're hedgehogs and a bunny. Little pen and toys and play food. A cute little set, 10 pieces. Here's the doll. And this is sold for 13, <clears throat> excuse me, I think 75. And this is actually going out of the States. Um, it's going to Canada. So what I have here is a lot of vintage uh, fold and seal and send cards. So this is bright, right envelopes. Aren't they cute? Look at it. Oh my goodness. And they have the little seals. So cute. Let me show you how to do it. And then I have a few of these different tablets. So this is Planter's Pride seal and send folders. And that's what they look like. Super cute, right? And then they have the seals. And then the Forest Friends. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I got these. I've had them listed about two years. I've had a lot of interest in them. Um, but I just accepted an offer on them tonight. I think I had them listed for like $60. Someone offered $52 and I said yes. These are my favorite. Look at this. So adorable. Garden Fantasy. And do the cutest thing ever. And the seals. So when I listed these, I did count them. I, you know, some of them are complete. I think some of them might have a couple out of them. Shoo! <laughs> excuse me. And wildlife. Super cute. Oh, I think well, these ones different. Yeah, these ones are different. I think these ones are all the same. Oh yeah. See, so this is assorted designs. These are just all, I think, all the same. 
yeah. And what about these ones? Are these assorted? Forest friend. No, they're the same. Oh, assorted designs on Planter's Pride. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a lot. So super cute. Super cute. So I sold these for 52. Long time coming on that. I had a hard time letting go of these. And so that's why I had to hold on for a, the right price. Um, and then I have three CoverGirl Simply Ageless Instant Fix. This is a concealer. And this is shade... Fair 310 and these I sold for $16.50. These date a little while back. I got a regular box from Wholesale Ninjas and there was like some sort of fluke with these CoverGirl boxes. If you go back and watch my Wholesale Ninja boxes, uh, you'll find it. But I ended up with like 200 pieces of CoverGirl makeup for like 13 cents a piece. This this came from that and also so did these i think this is a lot of five cover girl girl exhibitionist lip gloss and i just kind of put them in baggies to separate the different lots because i had several lots of five but there's different shades you can see they're they're beautiful shades and i sold a lot of five of these for $19.99. This is a vintage book called Every Thought Captive. I try to captivate my thoughts quite often. Um, anyways, I like the title of this book. This is by Richard Pratt. And this I sold for $10.55. Um, it is it is vintage. It is it does have some age to it, but it is in a very good readable condition on that there. Then for some reason, it's cheerleader day for me. I don't know if, I've, if I ever sell any other cheerleader things, but I sold two cheerleader items today. So this is a prior Redskins uniform. I know now they had a name change and a uniform change and all of that, but this is the old... Redskins team apparel, kids team apparel. This is a 3T little cheerleaders outfit. Um, I actually got this at my Goodwill. It's been a while, probably about two years. Um, and it was on discount. It was 99 cents, but half price because no one had bought it. So I got it for 50 cents. I have now sold it. Uh, and I sold it for $18. And then, let's see, the other little cheerleader thing not to the same customer this is a build-a-bear workshop that's what that stands for there um little cheer outfit and it's a it's got a couple extras and it maybe it's missing some things it's got the the top it's got the skirt it's got three socks it has two hair ties one pom-pom thing which maybe it's a very big pom-pom thing the little banner this little thing here. Um, I've had this listed a while, not not too terribly long. This all came in a batch of like 18 inch doll clothing I bought, a bag of it, big bag from the Goodwill or I think it was the Goodwill, most likely. Um, anyways, came with that. I kind of picked it all out and put it together. Uh, it has had some interest and it has now sold. So I sold this for $16.99. This is a vintage paperback booklet, British Eighth Army, North Africa from 40 to 43. And these are like uniform guides. I believe these are for like people who are interested in making models. I could be wrong. I've sold some various ones of these over the years. I had a um, a large stack of them at one point. Um, and anyways, this one's going to the United Kingdom. And I sold this for $13.99. So here we have a commentary on the book of Genesis. This is the New International Commentary on the Old Testament, which is abbreviated N-I-C-O-T. 
Apparently, these are fairly popular. I just listed these and sold these. When I'm saying these, so I listed this one on the second half of Genesis, and then I listed both of these on Ezekiel uh, together, and they all both sold very quickly. So this one I listed for thirty-five eleven, and then these two, the set of two of those. I sold those for $63.99. Now, they don't have dust, dust jackets, um, so not quite as nice as the one with the dust jacket. This is a pre-owned Life Application Study Bible. It has a little wear hardcover. It does not have the original box. Um, the front pages are blank. And this I sold for $20.99. So here I have three CoverGirl um, foundations. They're all three the same. They're CoverGirl Clean, shade 135, which is medium light. Uh, they do have two different labels on the bottles. Uh, these are from Wholesale Ninjas. I've had them a little while. Interesting thing is, I sold some other foundation like this. Um, you probably just saw that here couple clips before, a few clips before. So I don't know if something happened. Did CoverGirl discontinue this? I don't know. Something something seems to have just happened because I'm suddenly selling it. Um, I sold these three for $19.99 and interestingly, at least I find it interesting, these are going to New Zealand. And then I also have some lucrative lip gloss. This is by Unique. Um, I have a video, if it interests you, where I got a whole bunch of brand new unique cosmetics at the goodwill and this is this is one of them so this is a lip gloss um it is in shade love struck yep and this i sold for 16.75 so this is a pattern that i sold um it has an old price sticker on it from when someone bought it it is uncut and still factory folded but it was pre-owned um, and it makes these cute little rompers here and this pattern is going to Canada looks super cute and I am hoping to to mail this with the eBay envelope so to make sure the weight is going to be right yeah it should be fine because it needs to be under three ounces so I found if I list under um, sewing collectibles, other sewing collectibles. Um, I can use the eBay special envelope. This should cost me about a dollar and some change to mail. So anyways, this I sold for $8.89. Yep, so per eBay standards, the envelope needs to be no more than six and a quarter, which it's just a smidge under that by 11.5 which it's less than that and it can't be more than a quarter inch thick and it's not this is going to cost me 97 cents to mail i love love being able to use this so you have to use collectibles sewing 1930 to now under other sewing collectibles in order to mail the patterns this way and they have to be under three ounces with the envelope this is a pre-owned book, Servants of the Servant. You can see there's little wear here. I feel like I have sold one of these in the past and I'm selling one again. Um, I sold this for $10.20. So this kind of has an interesting backstory and I apologize for the glare from my window. I'm trying to figure out here in my new um, office location where is the best place for me to film the things I've sold? Um, trying to figure that out. And it seems like with this window right here at my work area, you can see here, see my new refurbished chicken coop coming along out there. <laughs> Anyways, um, it seems like with this new location with the window and the sun doing different things, um, sometimes it's good here and sometimes it isn't. But anyways, these um, packs of mini cards have a interesting little story affiliated with them. So they are to make like little business cards. 
you would print and then pop them out. And I think there's 10 per sheet. So there's must be 25 sheets. It's like a card stock. And I have two packs of it, brand new, unopened. Um, and there you can see. So what happened was at the Goodwill, I believe it was, there was a stack like this of colored copy paper and it was cheap. I don't know how cheap it was. I don't remember, but I, I bought it. Um, because I like to print things on colored paper once in a while and it was cheaper than, you know, just buying a ream of regular printer paper. And so anyways, I bought it and these were strapped to the bottom of it, brand new. Um, and I was like, what am I going to do with these? And I thought, well, I'll list them. Um, so I've had them listed now about, I don't know, maybe six months and I sold them for $16 for the pair. Um, and I'm using the paper and the paper's almost gone. Um, so that was a really cool thing. That happens to me a lot. A lot of times I'll buy something for something and then there's something else I wind up being able to sell that came along with that. So I have a stack of books here, sold all of these. Uh, this is Tales of the Chesapeake. Uh, it's got a little bit of folded corners there. Um, and this one I sold for $8.40. And then we have Holy Days of Israel, a little hardback pre-owned. I sold this for $9.75. And then this is quite the old little hardcover here. Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. It's a Tyndale Old Testament commentary um, from way back. <laughs> and this one I sold for $11. And then we have Let's Study Galatians. A pre-owned paperback, but in really nice condition. This one I sold for eleven eighty-nine. And lastly, Isaiah. This yeah. is the Believer's Church Bible Commentary. And this one I sold for eighteen seventy-five. Okay, so you just saw all the footage of everything I sold. Some really neat stuff this month. Some things that have a little more sentimental value to me, even though they really shouldn't have sentimental value to me, but just things I was more attached to sold. Um, so that was fun and you got to hear those stories. Um, so this month I had a total of 36 sales. I did get a little bit more listed this month. I think last month, if you watched that video, I think I didn't list anything or maybe like I don't know, two things. I was really, really bad. And I had a goal to list more this month. Um, that, you know, that seems like that's my universal never ending goal is to always try to get more listed, but you know, this time of year is really very busy for me. I'm busy harvesting and uh, putting away a lot of things and there's trips and you know, just a lot going on. So I did get 33 listings. I'm proud that I did that. Um, hopefully in September I will get more, but if I don't, that's okay too. Um, so I didn't actually invest a lot of time into eBay this month because what I sold was basically stuff that had been listed for a while. So I invested time previously. So my income this month, um, you know, it felt like it was just kind of like free, free money because I hadn't really put a whole lot of work into eBay this month. My total profit was $364.81. Now that is after my cost on the items that I sold, after my eBay fees, and after my shipping fees. Um, I almost always ship with free shipping. Um, I know there's different uh, ways of thinking on that, but I know for myself personally, when I shop online, I like to not factor in shipping. Is this a better deal or not a better deal? I like it when there's free shipping. So that's what I do. I make my prices accordingly. Um, so that works out to 1013 profit per item on average. Now, another thing that's worth noting um, is that 16 of the items I sold were from Wholesale Ninjas. They are about entirely a wash at this point, or at least the ones I sold. I didn't really make uh, money off of those, um, but I'm happy that I sold them and, and got rid of them and recuperated some of the money I had invested into them. So that brought down my average. Now that wasn't 16 sales, but there were 16 items. Um, 
I also sold three patterns, which if you've heard me talking about sewing patterns lately, um, I'm really excited about selling them and using the eBay standard envelope on those. I can get sewing patterns for free. Like people are throwing them away. Um, I, or I can get them extremely cheap and I really enjoy listing and selling those. Um, so out of all of my listings, which I'm teetering around upper 1300, lower 1400 listings per month um, that I just kind of have floating through, uh, I would say like maybe, I don't know, 2% are patterns. But out of my sales this month, three of my sales were patterns. I, I'm excited to embrace more sewing patterns. I have a bunch more to list. Um, <clears throat> before I can get to them, I have a bunch of books I need to get listed. But I love that they don't take up much space. I love that I can send them with the eBay uh, standard envelope. And I've found that I just store them by number. So each pattern has a number, a simplicity, McCall's, whatever it is. And I organize them in little totes according to those numbers, um, regardless of the brand. And so they're easy to find. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> they're easy to find. Anyways, I'm enjoying them. Also out of my sales, 18 were books. Now some of those were grouped together, but still quite a, quite a good bit of books. And I also really enjoy selling books. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that when I pop back on in September, I have like this phenomenal number of listings to tell you. I don't know. I have been, my goal for the last two calendar years has been to get to 2000 active listings and I just can't get to it. <laughs> and I really don't think I'm going to make it this year, but I'm still, I'm still working on it. So we, we shall see. I've been kind of holding steady right around where I am. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.